it's Jen from Fabulous Paper Emporium. I've got my last new product video for today and we have just four paper um, paper collections to go through and uh, then we'll be done and we can get back on to tutorials. So I wanted to show this to you because we've got some two new and two not so new. So this is one that came out a number of years ago called Rad Dad. And I know for everyone who is, you know, kind of struggles to look for paper for Father's Day, grandfathers, just albums, cards, you name it, scrapbook pages, this is perfect. We also have the Grease Monkey as well, although that really is tailored to, I guess, dads who have like an interest in cars and things like that. But this is a great all-purpose one because you've got some great patterns in here, some that are a little bit more focused on hobbies and things, but some really great ones that are just kind of good all-purpose cards. Um, papers, four cards. <laughs> so I'm going to, the cover for this, I was trying to separate it, but I forgot the cover for this actually doubles as your bonus sheet. So this is the uh, bonus pattern that you get in this collection. It is a mini collection, I should mention. So you are getting eight sheets of 12 by 12. This is your bonus sheet. Everything is double-sided. It's a really excellent quality cardstock. Um, and you do have obviously some cut aparts here. So let's get to it. So um, everything, if you're not, um, if you're not familiar with uh, 12 by 12 collections. Um, the patterns all go together. If there's any, uh, you know, they generally follow the same colorway. So this one is super fun. Oh my gosh. It's like a gamer. Uh, it's called gamer. <laughs> so it's got little, um, joysticks. I, and, and other things that you would need for, you know, controllers, that kind of thing for, <laughs> for games. Um, beautiful, um, this, this paper does have a little bit of a shine to it. Um, it's not quite as matte as some of the other papers. And that's very, um, that's something you'll see very much when you do the uh, small smaller collections. So uh, just letting you know that it does have a little bit more of a glossy finish. Um, so a lovely kind of stripe, like a very random stripe on the back side of that one. It's beautiful. Um, you do get two of each. So we've got our other gamer with the controllers. I love this plaid. This one's called my hero. So there's the plaid on the side and then we've got for the card player or poker player in your life, we have the suits. So we've got diamonds, clubs, spades, and hearts <laughs> on that side. So again, the lovely plaid that goes with that. Then we have our Rad Dad paper, or D is for Dad. So we got Dad's Man Cave, Rad Dad, and then just a little capital D with Dad underneath. Um, beautiful paper with just like another pretty much uh, uh, coordinating pattern to the other papers. And then for this one, we have our cut aparts with another lovely green um tone on tone paper for the back but that is the cut aparts that you have that make some really easy work of card making so uh, easy to use something um in the background with you know get your game on with cutting apart these and just coming you know making a really super card that is is fairly easy uh to make so um and if you're making albums this comes in handy too as well as scrapbooks i mean really anything cut aparts are good for just about anything uh even if you wanted to decorate your uh a gift or whatever you can make a tag or just you know make a nice little little uh, centerpiece to your uh, wrapping abilities. <laughs> so that is it for the Rad Dad, since Father's Day will probably be here faster than we blink an eye because we're already in March. <clears throat> this is the other collection, as everything falls, uh, the other collection that is not exactly brand spanking new. This is the Great Outdoors 
and um, again, just lovely. This is a full collection, so it's 12 sheets, 12 by 12. We get the stickers with this as well. So, um, you know, if, again, if your father is, you know, kind of outdoorsy, this is great. Um, it's a great all-purpose one. So these cut-aparts, great for journaling. If you wanted to put on the back, this one is, you know, certainly screams journaling for sure. But some beautiful um, pictures here. I really, really love this bear silhouette with the kind of like what you would think as a forest kind of scene. So this is going to be double-sided. I knew I had two sheets there. So we've got some lovely fish on the back of that one. <clears throat> I'm going to move this aside so I can kind of spread out a little bit more. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next sheet is this beautiful campfire one. So we've got the trees and a lot of campfire, uh, you know, supply, supplies, accessories, things that you'll need for a campfire in the woods with one of my favorite patterns of all time, the black and red, you know, kind of like a buffalo check. Yeah, well, I guess that's a buffalo check. <clears throat> then we've got some canoes, kayaks, that kind of thing with a bunch of paddles, a lovely wood grain pattern on this opposite side. This one makes for great little cut aparts if you want. So you can either, again, cut it. This is probably about one one and a half maybe by one and a half i don't know i gotta get my ruler <clears throat> i'm just curious uh yep one and a half by one and a half so you can choose if you wanted to make a cut apart do one and a half by one and a half you can make it a long uh rectangle you can make it a square again you can incorporate as much of this as you want but it has a lot of the same feel as the cut aparts that we looked at from page one, as well as some of the, like, obviously there's fish that we've looked at. Um, there's a lovely moose kind of scene. So beautiful paper for that one. And on the back side of that, it's just a forest, lovely green forest with beautiful trees. We have a floral because camping or the great outdoors is not just for guys. Some of us like the florals in there too, with this lovely golden, um, ochre kind of color to go with the rest of the patterns. This is a beautiful sheet for strips. So, uh, I, I just see this as being like album scrapbooking and even great for cards. Like if you just want to have a little something on the inside that coordinates with the out, then you can cut apart certainly this stripe or the backpacks, adventure weights. There's so many different uses for a sheet like this. And then on the back side of that, we have some stripes. And that is it for the great outdoors. So as you can see, as I pull kind of all this around, that it really does coordinate together. I'm gonna put this aside and then we can have a look-see at two very new, well, new-ish, like in the last, you know, few months. So we've got the, um, uh, another add another candle, which is a birthday celebration uh, collection, and this one twelve sheets, twelve by twelve stickers. Oh, I forgot to show you the stickers for the ma bad. This is the stickers for the great outdoors. So you know, just uh, it continues the same theme right? So the <laughs> take a hike, <laughs> the great outdoors. And then you've got some lovely big stickers for your scrapbooking, your journaling, um, or your album making. So that's fantastic there. Okay. So getting back to the add another candle. So again, very much a, um, birthday celebration pack. So we're starting with our cut aparts. I'm going to set that aside so I can kind of flip everything over. So we've got our cut aparts on one side with big birthday, happy birthday, happy B day on the other side. The colorways in this collection are just super happy and bright and cheery. We've got our cake platters, cupcakes, little macarons, that kind of thing with a beautiful stripe, a very happy stripe with and what's a birthday party without balloons so we've got some balloons here with uh another fantastic um 
uh, pattern paper, which just has all kinds of words to celebrate birthdays. We have a just kind of a geometric, just very, um, and I don't, I, the word is just not going to come to me right now. Just asymmetric, ge ge uh, geometric kind of pattern, echoing the same colors, the beautiful plaid on the other side of that one. And of course we have some candles, you know, some of us maybe wish there weren't so many candles on our cake, but you know, what's another, what's another candle? <laughs> Pretty soon, I'm sure on my birthday cake, you'll be able to roast roast marshmallows on top of it. So we have some uh, a lovely polka dot on the opposite side of that. Then we have some party hats, again, in the same colors with uh, a sheet that looks like there's a bunch of confetti kind of all over that. And then we have our stickers at the back, which will work wonders on your cards, albums, or uh, scrapbooking. So that is the add another candle. So I'm going to remove that. I cannot wait. I think for the add another candle, I, I feel like we're going to be doing a kind of like an as many as, and we're going to just work through that album or that collection. Um, you know, paper by paper, there's a lot of, of tags or cut aparts there but I feel like we can make a ton of fantastic birthday cards for that one. And then the last full collection that we've got today is the Hop To It, which is brand new for this year, this Easter, and is going to have a lot of the very Easter kind of colorways where we're talking about uh, the pinks and greens, very happy spring colors. So we have our first thing is our cut apart sheet, which I will bring back over <clears throat> on the back side we've got a tone on tone little easter bunnies eggs flowers that kind of thing again a beautiful um butterfly paper with um a happy polka dot a yellow polka dot and then we've got our easter bunnies kind of playing around with the easter eggs and uh their little banner that says spring and on the back side of that, we've of course got carrots. Can't have Easter bunnies without carrots. <laughs> Another beautiful one. So not everything in this pack needs to be used for Easter. It There's a lot of spring time um, patterns in here that could definitely, you know, carry you through spring and even summer, really. This works excellent as summer paper as well. So this lovely pink gingham with a little hint of that lime green in there. Very beautiful. We've got our Easter eggs. Then there's a stripe behind that, which is again a fun, um, a fun pattern that is, you know, totally spring summer. We have our little Easter chicks on this. That really pops. That <laughs> the the pink with the yellow on top. Very very fun. And then a little bit of a floral, a tiny floral with, of course, our sticker sheets. So that is it for Hop To It. And then just to round up this, this uh, video, we also have brought in two, um, two small six by six paper pads. There is this fall plaid, which, I mean, there is, Every time, every day is a good day for plaid. And if we also have something very similar to the uh, fall plaids, which is the holiday plaids, and uh, I've used that throughout the year. So if you like plaid and you've got somebody who likes orange or, you know, is, is, you know, this also works very well for, you know, Father's Day cards because it's, it's does have, it can have a very masculine feel depending on what you pair it with. So we've got some beautiful plaids, some solids to go with it. That one, that kind of screams to me like, I don't know, I see a suit made out of that from the 70s, 60s or 70s. But just some really, really um, beautiful plaids in here, uh, as well as some checks, ginghams, that kind of thing. So very fall inspired patterns, but definitely will carry you through the entire year if you so desire. 
And then we have our brights, which is the polka dots and stripes and um, 24 sheets in both of these collections. And this is also going to be the same. It's going to be double sided. So we've got some very uh, happy, bright colors are our, our very um, some primary. I mean, I know that uh, green, pink and turquoise, I don't think are primary colors, but you know, you get what I mean. It's still very bright and cheery. So <laughs> uh greens blues pinks reds oranges yellows you name it we've got it in here and uh just great to coordinate with uh with your cards especially maybe that spring one um or anything that you have that is like stamping would work well for the, for those two collections and so that is it. That was uh, probably my fastest video because there's just the, the four larger collections to go through and these two small ones. So I look forward to using this product and bringing some tutorials to you. If you have any ideas uh, for what you'd like to see or even what you'd like to bring in, if there's something in our collection that was is missing or lacking that you would like, by all means, put a comment below, send us an email at fabulouspaperemporium at gmail.com. Um, but if you are interested in any of this, head on over to our website, have a quick look. It's fabulouspaperemporium.com and uh, hopefully you find what you're looking for. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you have a fantastic day and you stay safe and well. Thanks again. Bye.